Good morning. We'll be seeing today the derangements. First, we'll see what are derangements. The definition comes like this. Derangement is a permutation of elements of a certain set in a way that no element that no element of that set appears in their original position. So that means if you have n elements and assume that the n elements have to be arranged uh, in a uh, sequence, so then first element position, original position is 1, second element position is 2 like this, the nth element position will be n. So, your derangement tells that no element will be in the original position. So, that means the first element cannot be placed in first place, second element cannot be placed in second element, nth element cannot be placed in n elements. So, such a permutation, we call it as a derangement. So, here we are going to use the dn to represent the, represent the derangement of n objects. So, suppose you have a single object, then number of derangements of single object is equal to 0 because you have only one position and I should not place that object in its original position. So, I cannot uh, have any permutation at all. So, your d1 is equal to 0. Now, d2 is equal to 1 because you have two objects. And the, suppose the positions are 1 and 2, 1 cannot be placed in the original position. It means 1 has to be placed in second position and 2 cannot be placed in its original position. So, 2 can be placed only in the first position. So, this is the only uh, arrangement of uh, two objects which forms the derangement. That is, 1's place 2 is there and 2's place 1 is there. That means, you are interchanging the positions of the two objects will form your derangement. So, therefore, d2 is equal to 1. So, means I have only one derangement with two objects. Next, d3 is nothing but how many derangements uh, uh, are there with the three objects. That means here it is 2. Why? Because 1 cannot be placed in the uh, first position. So, 1 has a choice for placing in uh, second or third position. So, first option here it shows that the 1 can be placed in first uh, second position and the second uh, shows that uh, the one can be placed in the last position and uh, two cannot be placed in the uh, second position. So, two can be placed only in the first position or third position. So, in this uh, it is in the second position, uh, the third position and here it is in the first position and three cannot be placed in the third position. So, 3 can be placed only in the either first or second. So, here it shows it is placed in the first position, here it shows it placed in the third position. So, these are the only two derangements possible with three objects. Likewise, if you go for D4, D4 you have nine such permutations which you can list out. Now, coming to the formula for finding the number of derangements of n elements we say that it is given by dn is equal to summation k varies from 0 to n minus 1 raised to k n choose k into n minus k factorial. So, this is a formula to be used and which you can prove it easily by using your inclusion exclusion rule. So, if you go for finding d5, so the formula goes like this that is k varies from 0 to 5. So, initially minus 1 rise to k because k is 0. So, it is positive. So, it is n choose k. n is here 5 k is 0. n choose k 5 c 0 into 5 factorial. Next is minus 5 c 1 into 4 factorial plus 5 c 2 into 3 factorial minus 5 c 3 into 2 factorial plus 5 c 4 into 1 factorial minus 5c5 into 0 factorial. So, this comes to be around 44. Similarly, if you compute d6 by using the formula, you will be getting 265. Now, for n greater than or equal to 7, so you can make use of dn is equal to n factorial into e raised to minus 1. Because if you see that your e, e power x is given by this formula, so I can be replacing by this. So, where e rise to minus 1 will be equal to 0 0.3679. Let us see some examples for derangements. The number of ways in which 4 balls, so these 4 balls colors are red, white, blue, green and these are to be placed in 4 boxes. So, those 4 boxes colors are also 
red, white, blue, green respectively such that no ball is put into the box having the same color means red cannot be put in the red box, white cannot be put in the white box, blue ball cannot be put into the blue box, green cannot be put into the green box. It means it is a derangement of four objects. So it is D4 which is equal to 9. Next question, determine the number of derangements of 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5 that end with 2, 4, 6 in some order. It has to end with 2, 4, 6 means you have four digit, 6 digits among which it should end with 2, 4, 6 in, the, in some order. So it means uh, these, uh, if I write it as 6 digits positions, so these uh, 2, 4, 6 will be coming into the last 3 position and uh, these 1, 3, 5 will come into the first 3 position. So it means this box can be filled by either 1, 3 or 5 and the second box will be filled with left out 2 objects that is this has 3 choices, this has 2 choices and this has 1 choice to fill. Similarly for the right 3 bits again I have 3 cross 2 cross 1 which is nothing but 3 factorial into 3 factorial which is nothing but 36 ways. Next question is Faran has received 9 gifts from 9 different people. In how many ways can Faran receive the gift such that no one gives him the real gifts? Again it is the derangement of 9 objects or gifts. So because here n value is greater than or equal to 7 I can use of the formula n factorial into e power minus 1. So here it comes to be around 1, 3, 3, 4, 9, 6. Next, a postman can cut 12 letters into their respective, can put 12 letters into their respective envelopes such that exactly 5 will go into the right envelope. Find the number of ways doing this work. If the question is like uh, you, you, the postman has to put 12 letters into the respective envelope uh, without any condition, then uh, it, he can put in any way. So it will be uh, 12. So it means 12 factorial. But if the question is like here, 5 exactly will go into the right envelope. Then um, the envelope such that exactly 5 will go into the right envelope. Then the number of ways in which 5 correct envelopes can be selected is because you have 12 letters and uh, 5 has to be correct. So 12C5 which is 864. Now the remaining uh, it uh, it could be going to any place. So it means uh, it could be derangement of remaining 7 envelopes and letters which is 1864. Therefore the total number of uh, ways of arrangement is equal to by product rule 1864 into 864. So, if it is a probability question of putting into the envelopes, then this answer divided by because you have 12, so it will be divided by 12 factorial, which is 0 0.0036. Just a minute, which is equal to 0 0.0036. Now, next question given 5 pairs of gloves, how many ways are there for 5 people each to choose 2 gloves with the Condition, first one, no one getting a matching pair. And here we are assuming that first the left gloves will be distributed to all and then the right glove. So, no one is getting a matching pair. It means first what we do is we distribute the uh, left gloves. How many ways you can do this uh, distribution is 5 factorial ways. That means 120 ways. Now, for each of these distribution, the right, the right gloves to be distributed, with no one getting the matching pair. It means that you have 5 objects which are right blouses and each of that uh, cannot be going to the exact person. So it means it will be derangement of 5 objects which is equal to 44. Therefore by product rule the distributing the gloves such that no one gets the matching pair will be 120 into 44 which is equal to 5280. If the probability is asked, that is, what is the probability that no one gets a matching pair, then it is 5 to 
divided by distributing the sample space will be 5 factorial for distributing the left clause and 5 factorial for distributing the right clause. So, it will be equal to 0 0.366. Next one, for the same question, same problem. So, one person getting a matching pair. So, left clause again it will be distributed in uh, 120 ways which is 5 factorial ways. Then, the one person gets a matching pair. When one person gets a matching pair, we don't know which person gets a matching pair. So, it, this person can be selected. One person who will be getting a matching pair can be done in 5C1 ways and the remaining 4 they should not get a matching pair which means it is a derangement of 4 objects that is D4. Therefore, 5C1 is equal to 5 and D4 is 9 which is 45 ways. Therefore, the required number of ways of distributing will be equal to 120 into 45 which is equal to 5400 ways. Again, if it is a probability question then it is 5400 divided by 5 factorial into 5 factorial that you can compute. Thank you.